Good evening, it's Monday the 20th of April 2020, I'm Dal Dami and this is Yarai TV. Yarai. 450 people have died in the UK hospitals today, 15% from care homes obviously and that's nearer 500, which is good as numbers have come down, but it's not good because 500 families now's lives have been changed forever due to the deaths today. Our death toll in hospitals is now 16,500 odd. The figures tell us at least 8,000 deaths have happened outside of our hospitals on top of this. So let's have a look at how this all began and where we are now. Right then, 31st of December 2019, which is under four months ago. China alerts the WHO about a string of cases of pneumonia of unknown causes detected in Wuhan. Then on the 8th of Jan 2020, Chinese scientists announced a new strain of coronavirus has been discovered. Then the 11th of Jan, the first death in China. Now let's go to the 20th of Dan. China confirms human-to-human -human transmission of the virus is possible and the first case outside of China is confirmed in South Korea. Now we shoot to the 22nd of Jan and there's an explosion of the coronavirus case in Wuhan. Public Health England risk level goes from very low to low. This was 11 weeks ago. And the first COBRA meeting chaired on the 24th of Jan. On the 29th of Jan, UK's first two patients test positive for COVID-D and a plane evacuates Britons from Wuhan and they go straight into a 14-day quarantine. It was on the news, you know, I'm there. Now we're on the 6th of Feb, third, third patient test positive. Now this patient was a super spreader and he's linked to 11 other cases straight away. Now we jump to the 23rd of Feb. Now this was nine weeks ago. Four people off a cruise ship moored off Japan come home and test positive. Then the 28th of Feb, the first British death on the Diamond Princess moored off Japan. So we had no deaths in the country yet. Now it's the 4th of March, now we're seven weeks ago. Cases now begin to surge. Now there's 87 in hospital with confirmed coronavirus. Italy now shuts all schools and universities and the virus has reached 81 countries with 90,000 people infected and 3,000 deaths. 5th of March, our first death in hospital from coronavirus was the 5th of March. 10th of March, and this was six weeks ago, there's six deaths in UK hospitals and there's 373 people in hospital with coronavirus. 11th of March, the WHO, not the fucking bandier for those, officially declares a pandemic. 15th of March, there's over a thousand cases confirmed in the UK and panic buying in supermarkets begins, you know what I mean, with the bog roll and shit. Now that was 36 days ago. 16th of March, governments, the first daily coronavirus briefing, everyone urged to work from home, avoid pubs and restaurants. Death toll in hospitals is now 55, with 1,543 people in hospital. But now it's to believe that there's over 10,000 maybe infected already in the UK. Now the 17th of March, 17th of March this is. Daily briefing, the Chief Scientific Officer, Sir Patrick Vallance states, if we can keep the death toll below 20,000, it will be a good outcome. Now the 19th of March, 144 hospital deaths to date, over 3,000 people in hospital. The 20th of March, one day later, this is one month ago today. Schools close, all pubs, clubs, gyms, restaurants and other social venues all ordered to shut one month ago today. 21st of March, panic buying intensifies, 230 dead so far in hospitals and over 11,000 deaths now worldwide. Then we go to the 23rd, four weeks ago, 54 deaths, the nationwide lockdown is announced, restricting movement and assembly and 1.5 million vulnerable people are sent letters telling them to stay at home for up to 12 weeks. Now we're looking at 23 days ago from now, 23 days ago, the 28th of March. The deaths in UK hospitals passed 1,000. There's 260 deaths in the day. So we've gone from 54 to 260 each day in five days. 1st of April, 20 days ago, went from 260 now, we've gone from 5 to 563. Now that's in four days. The 3rd of April, the worldwide cases have now passed 1 million. There's 684 deaths in one day, more than doubled in a week. Now we're on the 5th of April, the Queen, when she broadcasted the message to the nation, and Boris went into hospital. And we had 621 deaths. 
Then on the 8th of April, man, we had 938 deaths in one day. So the 5th of March was our first death. And then in 34 days, we went from one death to 938. 9th of April, 881 dead. The 10th, 980. The 11th, 917. The 12th, 737. And then a week ago, it was 717. And in the last week, we've had 7,331 confirmed deaths in UK hospitals. Now, we're approaching 20,000 deaths in our hospitals and up to 15,000 deaths in our care homes. This is a major situation we're in. And estimates are that by August, over 50,000 people could be dead in the UK alone. So in all of this, where has the government failed us? Well, on January the 24th, Health Secretary Matt Hancock comes out of a COBRA meeting and tells reporters the risk of coronavirus to the UK is low. So what he said, he goes, it's low. Boris Johnson skipped numerous coronavirus meetings and finally attended his first one on the 2nd of March. National, national lockdowns were activated too late, as at first they wanted herd immunity. There is no fucking immunity. How can you have herd immunity? We were, as a whole, in a poor state of readiness for a pandemic. Emergency stockpiles of PPE had severely dwindled and gone out of date as they were given low priority after years of cuts. Look at the state our care homes are in. So it's too late for us, Mr Prime Minister. You have let us down and killed thousands that could have lived. Now you're letting the NHS down, in there and in our time of need. You and all your cronies will be held accountable. That was bullshit. Right then, now while we're home, we need a good book to read. So our viewers have sent us a list of the top read books available to get your teeth into. So first we've got Cormac McCarthy's follow-up to No Country for Old Men, which was sponsored by the government, and it's No Country for Old Age Pensioners. We've also we've got The World's Worst Children 3, which is a David Williams spin-off written by every fucking parent stuck at home with their kids. Enid Blyton's got a new Famous Five novel out, Five Go Fucking Nowhere. And Jane Austen hits us with a take on the government's handling of the coronavirus crisis, No Sense and No Sensibility. Uh, biography of the World Health Organization is out, The Fifty Shades of Fuddu. And this week's must read, though, is Charles Dickens' story of the relationship between Donald Trump and Boris Johnson. A tale of two fuddles. Now for today's sport. That's the sport done. Now today's weather. Outlook is nice, so get your barbecues out for Wednesday. It's going to be really nice. And also, all this week, check out the Lyrid Meteor Shower. Tuesday night, it peaks with up to 20 meteors an hour flashing through the sky. You know what I'm saying? Finally, tonight's shout-outs. Big up to essential worker Benjani Forbes, who's smashing it in Bista. Dot from Coventry, keeping it real. The Devonshire Chippy in Sheffield, number one in Deliveroo for the Sheffield area. So if you're living in Sheffield, get your food from Devonshire Chippy, mate. Uh, Simon and the gang in Clinically. And Abdul watching us from Afghanistan. This is Del Dami on Yarai yeah TV. Yarai. Yeah